Hello, welcome to another episode of Upshift. You've seen us review a lot of the Jeep cash crops in the country, like the Compass and the Meridian and many of their variants. But today I am driving the car that Jeep is actually lived by, and that is a global standard. This is the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, and it is pretty much one of the most off-road capable machines you can buy in this country. So why not let's just do that, test it for it, what it has been built to do, and that is to go where the road does not. The Wrangler was born in 1986, but it took its main inspiration from the original Willys Jeep, and that is still the case to this day. Now it is much bigger, wider, and longer. and it's also got a lot of more muscle in order to look like a modern car but it still has the same design philosophy as it did so many years ago and that is something that could be appealing to a lot of people and it also could drive you away from the car since there are so many other uh, competitors that look much more modern in this specific segment but the wrangler takes you along through its history with a lot of quirky features around the car like around the hood clamp you've got the original willis on quite a lot of emblems around the car the willis is present and you've also got the same little original willis in the wheel covers as well in terms of overall dimensions it is a rather large car which can be daunting to some people but because of its dimensions is actually quite easy to drive and to see outside of so let's just go for a little drive on the road and see how it is as a normal car but before you head to the trails there is a 99.9% chance that you are going to have to traverse through the urban jungle and that's where the wrangler can feel like a bit of a compromise this is not what uh, the car has been prioritized to do it can cruise at decent speeds with decent amounts of uh, refinement but i would definitely call this a very bare basic driving experience on the road just because of the amount of uh, road noise that's coming in uh, the amount of vibrations you feel and also its suspension it's definitely built for going off road because when you um, use this suspension on the road it's really bouncy and the tra travel is very long so you are going to be feeling that singular bump constantly for a little while so that is something that's going to uh change your driving experience and of course its huge dimensions however there's one good thing cruising along with the jeep wrangler is that the people who love it really enjoy looking at it so you do get stopped you will get asked oh damn that's a cool car how did you get it all of that stuff what is it so if you do like catching some attention this definitely does catch it so all in all if you are the kind of person that likes to go wandering about you've got yourself a really nice car but till you reach the outskirts of the city you might not be very impressed with the car coming to the engine it is a 2 liter turbo four cylinder engine making 268 bhp and 400 newton meters of torque yes in the city the 8 speed torque converter gearbox and the engine can feel a little jumpy but in terms of speed surprisingly this 2 liter engine feels pretty strong it completes the 0 to 100 kilometers an hour run in a staggeringly fast 7.5 seconds which for a car of this size is pretty damn impressive but of course the fuel efficiency is appalling We never saw the fuel efficiency go above seven kilometers per liter in our usage. But again, the Wrangler is not built to be the environment's friend; rather, it is meant to be the environment's conqueror. Now yes, 
we mentioned that the Wrangler has other, possibly more appealing competitors like the Defender and G-Wagon. But one thing that we forgot to mention is the price. This 2024 Wrangler is now CKD, making it significantly less expensive, with the limited variant starting at just 67.65 lakhs and the Rubicon starting at 71.65 lakhs. The Defender is a whole 20 lakh rupees more expensive for its base model and the G-Wagon starts at an eye-watering 2.55 crore rupees. The Wrangler, in our opinion, is the best off-roader, period. The plastic body cladding and pretty simple exterior body panels means it is the perfect off-roader. You don't have to worry about scratching your precious paint or curbing a rim. You can just tackle whatever is in front of you. Head on. Moreover, this new Rubicon gets a suite of off-road goodies. The Wrangler has always been fantasized from the world war because it was always that go anywhere machine that could just basically take your soldiers wherever they needed to be and uh, that was an asset that was very cherishable back in the day however and now things that are basically meant to go off-road are mainly for hobbyists so this is no different it has been completely built with the priority of off-road first and trailing first this Wrangler comes with a lot of off-road goodies so you've got uh, locking diffs so you can lock the rear and the front or just the rear if you want you can go uh, four high four part-time four auto uh, high auto and of course four low for the tricky crawling situations in high inclines or I mean when you're going down and you've also got hill descent control so you've got yourself covered pretty much in whatever uh, situation you are in and yes you might say that it doesn't have quite a lot of luxury inside but all of the stuff that is inside all of the creature comforts are waterproof so even if you remove the roof completely and you are stuck in the middle of monsoon you're not going to uh, be worried about your screen going off <laughs> in the rain and yeah even if you're water wading or crossing a river if the seat gets wet, nothing is going to happen to the adjustable seats because all of it is waterproof. When it comes to the drive off-road, it is just like a cloud. All of the suspension that is kind of harsh uh, on the road, off-road, it's fantastic. So you can basically not care about what the undulations of a bad patch of road is and just drive through it and it's going to be completely fine. The car is just not going to have any form of problem or form of an unsettlement uh, while going through bumpy roads and big undulations which makes this a very careless car to drive off-road so if you have a farmhouse and the way is a little rough this is going to be perfect for that uh, commute all of these gizmos and gadgets are present to maximize the off-road capability of the car disconnecting the sway bar allows the wrangler to have much more wheel articulation while crawling over crazy rocks and boulders. Off-road plus mode manages your traction control and other safety systems in order for a noob like me to get out of tricky situations. You also get a screen on the infotainment system that shows a bunch of information like your pitch and roll. And you have a plethora of more advanced off-roading gadgets that I unfortunately cannot do justice to. In terms of the interior, the Wrangler is pretty bare basic as a true off-roader should be. Being the Rubicon, some things are a little nicer like the dashboard with some leatherette and stitching and the lovely Rubicon seats. Once you open the tailgate, you have a small table that folds down and small little quirks and features like these is what makes the Rubicon such a cool car. Now when it comes to my final verdict on the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, I still wouldn't recommend it most of the time. You see, at this price point, there are many better luxury SUVs that will do the on-road stuff in a much better manner. But with this car, you're not buying just the car. You're buying into the lifestyle. If you're someone that loves going through trails, uh, quenching your wanderlust on the weekends and basically exploring the elements in the open, then this is definitely the car for you. It is just so capable. You can take it pretty much anywhere and it will survive. Now, if you are of that state of mind, then this could be one of the best decisions you've ever made. So if you were to pick one of these, 
make sure that you use it at its best which is out here in the wilderness and if you're looking for something that's meant for the road then this could be a little bit of a commitment however it is a very impressive car here where the road does not come so if that is your forte the jeep wrangler is pretty much as good as it gets in the country do let us know your thoughts on the jeep wrangler rubicon and would you pick this up over any of its competitors do let us know down in the comments below thank you so much for watching it's been your boy bhavneet i'll see you guys in the next one